Yeah, there's some hard questions that we're going to ask uh, on this show because, um, you know, mentioning consciousness and uh, and science right now, science is trying to kind of pick things apart, right? Uh, dissect things into smaller components and, and see what, what things are made out of. Consciousness is sort of like elusive in that respect, right? It's very difficult to to kind of pinpoint what, what it what it really is. What, what is it uh, to you? What is How do you define it uh, through all your research that you've done? You know, you've you kind of tackled a, a lot of different perspectives. So, if you would congeal a uh, sort of opinion of of what consciousness is to you, what what would that be? Consciousness is the field where everything happens. Uh, whatever happens outside the field of co- field of consciousness, uh, yours, mine, and everybody else's outside all fields of consciousness, might as well not exist because it's never experienced. It's never registered. Um, we tend to conceptualize consciousness as something derivative, as something that arises out of something else, like matter, for instance. But this is just one possible avenue of conceptualization. Uh, I see consciousness as uh, as nature's uh, ultimate primitive. It's the one thing you cannot explain in terms of anything else because it's fundamental, it's a given, it's the field where everything else happens. You can explain everything else in terms of consciousness, but not consciousness in terms of anything else. So if I were to define it, I would just say consciousness is that whose excitations constitute all reality. Hmm. So one of the one of the things the, um, when we think about consciousness is so so in a way when you say the ultimate primitive like as in like an axiom like a the 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 baseline um, sort of uh, component that cannot be taken apart even yes further? because. W- uh, yes, if you think about it, what is an explanation? Explanation is a reduction. If I explain A in terms of B, then I'm reducing A to B. I'm saying that A is just an effect uh, of uh, the arrangement or dynamics of B. So all that really exists is B. A is derivative. So every explanation is a reduction of this form. But of course, you can't keep on explaining one thing in terms of another forever. A- at some point, otherwise you get into a loop which means that you don't explain anything. At some point you hit a rock bottom and you have to say, this cannot, this element I cannot explain. It's a given of nature. It's what nature is in and of itself. And that's a valid thing to do so long as you explain everything else in terms of that fundamental thing that you've identified. Then you're playing the game correctly. So let me play a little bit of a devil's advocate over here, because when we think of consciousness, we, especially in the animal kingdom, we, we look at uh, man, we, we look at, um, you know, humans, and, and, and then we look at animals, and, you know, what is consciousness? Is a dog conscious? You know, is a cat can- conscious? We, we think that, that that's, that's so, right? And then we kind of go down the, you know, is bacteria conscious? We go down the kind of the chain, and then up in the, in the opposite direction, looking at, you know, humans, looking at uh, people who are, uh, uh, you know, have brain injuries and things like that. At some point, what does, you know, what happens when you switch off that consciousness? At what point do you have that conscious? unconscious right like you and there's a lot of research kind of done trying to to figure that out is it a function of the brain like this this organ that you have in in your skull if you take it apart at some at one what at, at some point does it stop being conscious because you take it apart or does it st- is it still conscious but we just can't register um at that level that consciousness what do you think about that yeah, the, the, these are all the right things uh, to ask, especially given the ethos of our culture. That's what you know, people what comes to mind immediately when when somebody dares to say consciousness is all there is. Uh, how come? Because people die or they go unconscious at night when they fall asleep. When I say that consciousness is the fundamental aspect of reality, the one primitive, the thing you can reduce everything else to, I don't mean that it's your personal consciousness or my personal consciousness or my cat's individual consciousness. I'm talking about consciousness as a as a as a category as as a, it's not a substance it's it's the subject not an object but as a kind as a type of existent um, and from that perspective your personal consciousness my personal consciousness is a particular localization a particular dissociation or configuration of this broader consciousness that i'm talking about now if everything is reducible to consciousness 
then of course consciousness cannot cease to exist. But mine and your personal consciousness uh, can stop insofar as we are particular localizations of this broader uh, field of consciousness. Those localizations can end. Consciousness itself does 